Let's talk about the Richeson Gray Matters Pocket Brush, their travel brush for watercolor. I've been test driving these for a little bit this summer. I've got about two and a half months in with them and I've been really enjoying them. I am not a fantastic watercolor artist. This is probably my least familiar medium between oil painting and acrylic. This is the one I work in the least, but I have been increasingly frustrated, shall we say, with having to haul out a Peshad box that's this big and pack it up with my tripod every time I'm out in the field. Um, I also taught a lot of camps this summer, which required me to be able to bring brushes for watercolor and not have them get destroyed. So my plan was to buy two of these and I actually ended up buying the full set because I had a little gift from relatives for my birthday. So I figured I would splurge. It was kind of a rough start to the summer, so I treated myself. So these are not, um, Richeson didn't sponsor this in any way. Um, I purchased the product for myself. So just keep that in mind throughout the video. But these are synthetics and I don't really know enough about watercolor to say um, how they compare to a natural fiber brush. My impression is they're probably gonna hold a little bit less water and pigment, but compared to some of my older brushes that I use in the studio, these seem pretty comparable. I had some decent brushes from college um, and these seem to do pretty well. I'm really excited because this set comes with a 12 round. So it's a nice big chunky brush. And I find I use this all the time, <laughs> far more than I expected for doing most of my sketches in a little sketchbook this size. Uh, it puts down water quickly so I can do wet into wet and I end up doing probably about 75% of my painting with this. It has a number eight round in addition to the 12. It has a number four round. Then it switches over to a number one liner. Super handy in my opinion. Um, and there's one additional shape that they provide. They have two sizes of flats. They have a quarter inch flat and then um, they have an eighth inch flat, which is still over here in my case. The set comes in a carrying case that you can set up next to you. And there's a little cord that keeps it from folding flat. You can pull the cord and then pop your brushes in here, close everything up, and then brushes, sketchbook, plus my paints. That's not very much space. That fits really easily into my backpack. So I appreciated that a lot. I did a little um, kind of an illustration, just a little four by four with these brushes. And I use, I think all but the quarter inch flat in this painting. So you can get a feel for how the brushes work a little bit or see them in action. But um, overall, I'm really, I'm happy with them. Again, I haven't had them very long. Um, one thing that I would recommend is if you're not transporting them, um, once you get back to your studio, open them up so that the bristle is exposed and then let them dry completely because I, so I would recommend getting them open. Um, this barrel fits together nicely. Um, I like that they're full size. They're not huge, they're not tiny. I really don't like little tiny brushes. Um, but I like that they're full size. They fit together well, I have friction fit together. And then when you're ready to head back to home or the studio, pop them together, bristles are protected. There is a hole in the end here. Um, and that is an air hole. So it will help your brushes out, but I don't think they're gonna dry completely, particularly if you forget them in there for a week. So I've been trying to remember to open them up and let them dry once I'm back to my studio. Each of these comes to a nice point, even the 12 round. So I can put down a wash quickly and then also come back in and do not super fine detail, but pretty good detail with these brushes. Watercolor brushes I find easier to take care of. Um, I just have to remember to rinse them out well so there's not color left in them at the end of the painting session. 
and then wipe them down so they're you know squeezed out not dripping wet um, and then pop them open back here in the studio so that they have a chance to dry got a couple notes right here this guy was all with the new brushes probably used three different sizes um, and also some field studies like this guy this was painted a couple weeks ago we're transitioning into early autumn if you're considering a travel brush for watercolor in particular i recommend checking out the richardson gray matters they've been really fantastic the travel case can be propped open which is helpful and then when you're all set you can pack them in pack up your brushes take everything back with you nice and easy thanks for watching I hope to hear from you. Let me know if you have questions or comments that aren't addressed in the video about these brushes. What else would you like to hear? All right, until next time, have a great day. Bye.